What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Miles Jury, a longtime professional mixed martial arts fighter and a longtime real estate investor. Today, I'm going to talk about three tips to get you into the big leagues. These three tips helped get me 14 fights inside the UFC and they helped get me signed with Bellator. Let's get to it. Tip number one, patience. Coming up as a mixed martial arts fighter, you have to have a long-term vision. That has patience. You don't make it into the UFC or Bellator overnight. You have to take years to develop skills, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, striking. You have to be in the gym putting in countless hours to get these skills up to par to be able to fight in the big leagues. It also takes patience because you have to build up your resume to get into the UFC. What I mean by that is you have to take fights in smaller shows. You have to, to win fights and win them impressively in smaller shows. This could take anywhere from three to, to 15 fights before a big league picks you up. Patience is super important because I've seen a lot of fighters rush their career and they took a lot of losses and it messed up their, their resume and they didn't get big, big fights inside the, the big shows because they had a 500 record. So again, patience is super important if you're trying to make it to the big leagues. Tip number two is surround yourself with the right people. This is super important. When you're coming up as a mixed martial arts fighter, you need to have the right coaches, you need to have the right management, you need to have the right friends and family all around you to help supporting your dream of being in the big leagues of UFC and Bellator. Now, a manager is going to help get you the right fights. A coaches are going to help you know get your skills up and make sure you're in shape. Um, your team and your and your your family and your friends they're all going to be supporting you with moral support and helping out with anything they can with your career. So you should always kind of take your time to evaluate who's around you. Do they have your best interest in mind? Are they getting you? Are they pushing you up to the the higher shows? Are they getting you to where you want to be? Now there's nothing wrong with going as you go, right? Like you don't have to have the perfect manager and the perfect team all in place. You can kind of learn as you go and you might have to go through a manager or two before you find the right one. Or you might have to, to train in a couple of different teams before you find the right team. But the key is, is to make sure you get those right people around you that help support you so you can get to the big shows. Tip number three is you have to have a strong belief deep down inside of you that you deserve to be in the big show. This is super important. Coming up as an MMA fighter, you're gonna have so much adversity in front of you. You're gonna have injuries, you're gonna have friends and family uh, leaving you, you're gonna take losses, you're gonna probably travel to, to different parts of the world and have different experiences with different cultures. So many different things coming at you that are gonna try and steer you out of where you need to be. So you have to, when, you, when you're facing adversity and you're facing different things on the come up, you have to have a deep, deep belief in, deep down inside of you that you belong at that top show. Because if you don't, you're gonna get distracted and you're not gonna make it there. So by having that deep belief inside of you, nothing's gonna stop you. So for example, when I was, on the Ultimate Fighter in 2011, I blew my ACL out the first day filming on the show. Now imagine this, I'm coming up as a mixed martial arts fighter, I've put the time in training, I've put the, the fights in, I was eight or nine and oh as a pro, and I get my shot. I get my shot to be in the UFC basically. And I tear my ACL and get sent home on the first day. <laughs> as you can imagine, that was a huge blow to my my confidence. I was a huge blow to like my mental, my emotional state. Physically, I couldn't train. I had to get surgery. I couldn't fight for a whole year. I was lost. I really was. I, I didn't know where I was going to go, what I was going to do next. What really got me through though, that whole situation, is I had a deep down belief that this is all not permanent. This is all just is a stepping stone to get me to that big show. I believe that 
no matter what, whether it was an injury, whether it was losing family members, whether it was having to go across the country, whether it was doing whatever I had to do, I was going to do it. And this injury, it was just another step, another another chapter in my my whole career. But without that belief, that I'll, that belief of I deserve to be there, I see myself there, I feel myself there, and I'm going to be there, I would have never gotten through that injury. So to recap, the three tips are have patience, surround yourself with the right people, and have a deep belief that you belong and you will be in the big show. Guys, if you like this video, if you got anything out of this, please make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. We're going to keep bringing you great content. And until next time.